So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P2181 air code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And I'm gonna put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But what is a Dodge P2181 air code? Well, it's a cooling system performance. So what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer ECM is seeing that the temperature is either really hot or really cold, or basically it's outside of the range that it should be. And so several things can cause this problem. And I'm gonna go over eight of the most common causes of why you might get this error code, P2181. And the number one cause will be the engine coolant temperature sensor. And keep in mind that the wiring can also cause the same symptoms as a bad uh, temperature sensor. So be sure to check that, that, you know, check the harness and the wiring going back to the ECM for any opens or shorts. But this is very common with these, is that the sensor has simply gone bad or the wiring. And they're low cost parts. Take a look on Amazon. And they range around, it depends on the year of your Dodge, but you know, they'll range from like seven, eight bucks all the way up to 40. So they're, they're not really super high cost items. And they're pretty easy to swap out. You have to, you have to Google your year of your Dodge and the engine type. But they'll have a harness and you have a deep well socket you pop out the old one pop in the new one be sure it seals good so don't leak and just pop your harness back on and that's the way you would swap out one of those but th this is very important because this is how the onboard computer gets the information that it needs for the temperature so very common problem number one would be engine coolant temperature sensor and next up would be a possible radiator coolant temperature sensor. Now, not all Dodges have this, but some of the newer ones do. Sometimes they'll have, they'll have a sensor on the engine block and then they'll have one on the radiator. So you have to Google the engine and the year of the Dodge to find out if you do have this, you might not. But if you do have that, then that could be possible cause also. Because it, it'll work together with the engine coolant temperature sensor to send data back to the onboard computer. So. Number two would be check and see if you have a radiator coolant temperature sensor. And if so, check it out or replace it the same as you would the engine coolant temperature sensor. And next up is be sure to check your coolant. Be sure it's not low. If it is low, add some in. Sometimes if it's low, there might be a reason why, which I'll go over some of the causes of that next. But be sure to check the coolant and be sure that, it, that it's at the proper level. And so possible causes that could cause uh, overheating that would cause this problem also would be like, number one would be like the thermostat is very common. If these get stuck closed, then the vehicle will overheat because no fluid can get past it. If it gets stuck open, it'll run too cold. So it could cause the same problem. They're usually low cost of parts, around five to $10. They can be a little bit more of a pain to swap out, but usually not that difficult. But number four would be the thermostat. And next up would be the water pump. If one of these go bad, it, the water can circulate around. So it'll cause the engine to overheat and that'll cause issues. And, and the onboard computer will recognize this and throw out a P2181 code in some cases. So number five, water pump. And number six would be the radiator fan. If the radiator fans are not blowing, if they go bad, then it'll cause the engine to overheat. Now this will only happen when you're sitting at like stoplights or you're doing under like 10, 20 miles an hour. If you're moving, if you're going down a highway or freeway, then it won't overheat if the fan, radiator fan goes bad. So that, that's a way to test that out. If, that, if you think you do have a bad fan, if you're going down the highway and it's not overheating, but it will overheat if you stop at a stoplight, then that's very commonly a radiator fan. And next up would be a clogged radiator. While not too common, it, it, sometimes it can get clogged up and they need to be flushed out. So be sure to check for that. And number eight would be a, a bad head gasket. Now this isn't very common, but it, it can be in some cases. Uh, you blow a head gasket and it causes the vehicle to overheat. One quick way to check for this is to check your oil. And if you have water in it or coolant, then you know you very likely have a blown head gasket. The oil will look all milky. So number eight would be a head gasket. So that's basically it. I just want to go over some of the most common causes of fixes of a P2181 error code. Uh, like I said, most commonly, be sure to check these engine temperature sensors because that'll be usually be the problem or the wiring going to these sensors is very commonly a problem with this error code.
But that's basically it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.